I'm Dave, and welcome to the Armory. I've always wanted a robotic bartender, so today we're going to take Herman, we're going to 3D print some extra pieces for him, and program it to serve a beer out of the kegerator. So first we're going to start with mechanical. In Blender I'm going to 3D model some end of arm tooling for the end of Herman that you can fit an entire pint glass into, but also has kind of a hook finger thing on top. And then for the faucet, I'm gonna to have to model a new handle that has a recess that that finger can fit into. So that way Herman can tip the glass under the faucet, but as well work the handle at the same time since I only have one arm. So let's get to Blender. Here's the end of arm tooling I ended up with. There's a spot where you can put in a glass, a little backstop here to keep the glass from falling out as it's pouring. It also has this little finger up here that'll fit up into the tap handle and be able to pull that forwards and backwards and turn it on and off. Also, it'll be able to rotate around that point to control the angle of the glass underneath the faucet. Hopefully that gives really nice pours, but we'll see how it actually works. Now onto programming. I could use something like delays or timers inside of the program to control the timing between each individual step. That would work and is pretty easy, but one problem that might come up is as the CO2 pressure changes or as the beer starts to empty out of the keg, that I start to get different flow rates, which means that my timers will stop working or I'll start getting really inconsistent pours. The better way to do it, and the way that I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to do this, is because this is a collaborative arm, I'm hoping I'll be able to get the forces out of the individual joints and use that in my program. And with that, be able to estimate roughly how full the beer is over time and use that to control the timing between my program. All right, we'll see if that works. On to programming. All in all, really happy with how this project turned out. By the end, I was getting really consistent pours. I was having some issues getting consistent measurements out of the individual joints. But 
But what I ended up doing was just taking multiple readings back to back and averaging them. And that filtered out a lot of the noise that I was seeing. Now, if you need super accurate force measurement in your application, you could upgrade to the URE series, which has a force torque sensor built directly into Joint 6. Or you could get a force torque sensor from ATI or Robotique or some other companies um, and implement that into any robot that you have. Now, it was really nice working with the UR for this application. Their interface is super, super simple to use, which is good for new users, but it's also good for making really quick, simple programs. Now, usually, to get simplicity, you kind of lose some of the complexity and power, and that's just a trade-off that you have to make. And UR has gotten around that by creating their UR script language. Now, in any program, you can write a script, and you can get into that really nitty-gritty control that you would otherwise lose having a really simple interface. Now, also, because it's a collaborative arm, I didn't really need to worry about a ton of safety. Now, that being said, collaborative doesn't mean safe. There are still a lot of things that you need to consider to make an arm safe, even if it is rated as collaborative. Now, if you have any questions about what I actually did here, or you have other applications that you're curious if arms can do, if you have specific brands you're wondering about or specific sensors, make sure to put all that stuff down in the comments. I can probably answer a lot of questions there, or I can try to implement those ideas in future videos that I do. I do have lots of other videos coming up using different manufacturers, different arms, different sensors. So make sure to like and subscribe to keep an eye on all of that stuff. Thanks for watching.